strike. I think this is something that can put tremendous pressure on companies to increase their pay, to offer proper support with gas. I mean, there's a list of demands we can make, right? Better safety. And the way I see a smart strike playing out is pretty simple. If we can pick two time slots per day, one in the morning, one at night, and your feedback here is very important, right? You can suggest, um, I think this time slot or that time slot daily, I want to do this daily, seven days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, daily, the very same time slots we switch off, right? So if you switch off one hour in the morning, one hour at night, worldwide, city by city, it means in that time slot, and I'm, I gave an example, it doesn't have to be that, to be determined, seven to eight, in the morning, seven to eight at night. Something that you can remember, right? Seven to eight, never too late, right? Seven to eight in the morning, seven to eight at night, every day, we all switch off. And by doing this, we leave, this is the sad part, sorry, dear passenger, we leave you, dear passenger, stranded between, for example, seven to eight in the morning, seven to eight at night. And you guys can send your feedback. Uh, hey, if somebody says it's too little, uh, somebody says do these time slots. I'm trying to come up with something catchy that we can do ongoing and we can get more videos and more videos and I can push media out and I can get the media involved why we are doing these smart strikes. Because at the end of the day, it's not like, hey, let's organize a strike on Memorial Day, right? And we switch off the whole day and you lose that money. A lot of people don't participate because they can absolutely not afford to lose a full 10, 12 hour day. Winston's in the house, Kenneth is in the house. So if we are Switching off one hour in the morning, for example, one hour at night, you can make up those two hours during the day. The power here, ladies and gentlemen, the power is that if we work together worldwide, city by city, there's no drivers in those two time slots. Seven to eight, seven to eight, never too late, right? Seven to eight a.m., seven to eight p.m. Now, what we're doing right now is we are discussing openly your suggestions, your feedback. What do you think would be the best ongoing? And we make it ongoing until they meet our terms and needs, right? And there will come a point where it's going to take on so much momentum. You know, we did a killer strike on St. Patrick's Day. Worked very, very well. Cost them a lot of money was very well covered in the media, but we need to do something ongoing daily that doesn't hurt you because you can readjust your hours, right? If, you, if, you, if you're switching off for two hours per day, you can fill those two hours elsewhere, either at the end or early in the morning, whenever you have time, you make up those two hours daily. But by not having drivers on the road, in the morning and at night in these two time slots, we can exercise and leverage a lot of power because people will be left stranded, will not know how to get to work and may not know how to get back from work or back or to a restaurant, for example. So we really need to think hard and smart. What are the two time slots? I wouldn't just make it one time slot. I think it's better we do it two time slots every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, until they say, okay, we see what you're doing here. It's costing us. It's hurting our passengers. Let's talk. And when I say let's talk, let's talk about safety. Let's talk about pay increase. Let's talk about 
decent uh, gas assistance, right? Let's talk about some conditions here. We should be all be able to see our destination, every city, not just in India or selected cities, right? We need bargaining power. We need collective clout, right? And we can really do this because this is not going to hurt your bottom line. You can adjust your hours and make up two hours easily. I am just putting this out as a suggestion, one hour, one hour. You guys might say, hey, let's do it for two hours in the morning and we don't do it at night, but we have to do it ongoing until they listen, until they cooperate, until they are willing to sit down. This is what they did in India and it worked. The government got involved, new conditions were laid out and the drivers fared much better. And I think an ongoing strike where we work smart against them to reach our objective, to reach our means, right? So I, we came up with this term, smart strike. A, what do you think about the idea? B, what do you believe the time slots should be? C, how many hours per day? D, would you support something like this ongoing until we reach our goals? Talking about the Uber and Lyft stock price, oh my God, did you guys see that? I think Lyft, correct me if somebody can give us the current numbers. I believe Lyft is on $16. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody's going to swoop in and buy, uh, buy Lyft in the next two, three weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if DoorDash gobbled up Lyft. Lyft 16. Pathetic. Tico. And of Deutsch, German, Alemannia, schlimm, ganz schlimm. Right? So, those guys, I think. You know, chopping time, chopping time, but chopping time, C H O P P N G, chopping time. Heads need to roll at Uber. And let's force these people to talk as any conducting an ongoing smart strike. Because if we can keep the pressure up, we will get our terms met. We deserve this, my friends, and we can do this city by city. You're not going to be losing money at the end of the week. You're just going to readjust your hours, but you're going to hurt them. You're going to punish them during certain time slots. Sorry, dear rider, we have to leave you right there on the corner of the street or at the shopping center or at your business or at your hairdressing appointment. We're not coming in that time slot. So do you send me feedback on that, please? We have uh, 68 people in the house. I welcome you all. Uh, appreciate you, respect you. Much love from California. Beautiful day, 75 degrees. And um, send us your feedback. Send me your feedback. What you think a smart strike could look like? What hours should we block out? How often, how frequently should we do this? I would say daily, Monday to Sunday, daily, a specific time slot or two specific time slots. Let's punish them until they listen, until they cooperate, right? And talking about punishment, the Uber and Lyft stock are getting punished today. $16 on Lyft, $16 on Lyft. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. We have 60 people in the house. We have 24 likes. Looks like this. Daily. I'm with you on that. Daily until they listen and finalize some new constructive safety precautions, constructive pay, constructive gas assistance. Not the trash that we've been fed right now. We don't deserve this. Right? So... If I'm talking about the words smart strike, easy to hashtag it, hashtag smart strike. Let's get it viral. All we have to do is decide on time slots or a time slot, seven days 
a week ongoing until they meet our demands. Boom! Punch, uppercut. Dara Koshishawi, you're in for a rough time, buddy. Crappy stock price, smart strikes coming your way. Wait till we start, wait till I start getting this. This is, the, this is what I'm good at in the media. Wait until I hire the people to write the right press releases and we start pushing this out. Nice car, I like these Alfa Romeos. I like these little Alphas. Which one is that? LA here. We have 72 people in the house. I welcome you all. Please hit the like button. And um, we can't just do one or two, one, you know, once off strikes. We did that to gather a lot of media attention. They listening. They want the stories. Now we have to hit them daily. Daily. Boom, 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 boom. Daily. Daily. Hard, hard, hard. Daily. So we leave, we leave passengers stranded. We leave them stranded every day during a specific time slot. We leave them stranded. Every day. So what hours is that going to be? How is it? Should we do a morning slot and an evening slot? I just, I suggest daily, seven days a week, seven to eight a.m., seven to eight p.m., seven to eight, never too late, right? Never too late to adjust our pay, never too late to come up with better safety precautions, never too late to assist us at the gas pump. And we will smart strike every day and sorry, dear rider, go and invest. Buy yourself on Amazon a bicycle, electric bike, a scooter, a skateboard. But we are going to start choosing one or two time slots and be prepared. Get mentally prepared for this. No cars show up. And I can see a lot of drivers participating worldwide because it's not like you cutting out one whole day and you're losing three, four hundred dollars, right? But ongoing every day, you're sacrificing an hour that you make up elsewhere. But it's in that hour we don't give them any attention. We don't give them any trips. We don't give them access to our UberX, to our Lyft Regular, to our XLs, to our Black, to our Lux cars. We don't give them access in a specific time slot daily. If we've done full day strikes, right? Full day strikes are very good for media. They're very symbolic. They get a lot of attention, but they are not budging, right? In fact, they are increasing rider rates and furthermore, further decreasing driver rates. We can't accept this. So, we got to think bigger, we got to think smarter, and that's why we came up with this term. You can put it out the hashtag smart strike. We'll start educating Dara, Logan, and all those executives at DoorDash, Amazon Flex, Shipped, all of those companies. Thank you so much. Very kind of you to throw that down. Wesley, I appreciate it. Let's do it every day at LAX pickup time. I like it. So did you guys see my video this morning at LAX? I got very upset that I was filming there, but very, very upset and started filming me. Threat to call the cops. I'm like, call the cops. I can film. I'm reporting on what's going on here. What's your name? So my, afterwards, I said, my name is Fluffy. I'm, my name is Fluffy the comedian. What's your name? wouldn't tell me his name. I said, if you can't tell me your name, how do you expect me to give you my name? What's your name? Fluffy the Comedian. I told him, my name is Fluffy the Comedian. Look me up. I'm going to call the cops. I said, call the cops. You're wasting, your, you're wasting my time. Call them. Call them. I'm not doing anything illegal. 
I'm not threatening anyone. I'm making a documentary on Uber, Lyft. I'm documenting what's going on on Uber, Lyft and taxis, right? Continued to continue to threaten me. And I said, don't fool me and don't threaten me, right? Because I'll follow up on you, right? But if you want to call the cops, call the cops right now. And let's talk about this. He didn't call the cops. What's your name? Again, I told you the first time. My name was Fluffy the Comedian. Didn't like it. What's your name? Fluffy the Comedian. Gabriel Iglesias, senor. Gabriel Iglesias. Couldn't figure that out. So, if we can do a smart strike daily, one or two time slots, and we leave those passengers stranded. We leave them stranded. Sorry, no cars coming at that time. No cars coming at that time. Guess what, dear rider? Daily. Not just on one given day. Daily. So, if you need to go to work, if you need to go to a restaurant or back after work, figure it out because we're not driving in those time slots. I believe it will be very, very effective. I believe a lot of people will participate. I believe we can get this viral quickly. I believe we can get the media on board very quickly, right? And we could start in LA, you know, we could park our cars there and explain to the media, to Univision, to ABC, to all these stations why we are not driving from seven to eight or seven to nine whatever we want to whatever we want to come up with whatever time slot but it's not going to hurt the driver because you can make up the hours elsewhere during the day you're sacrificing an hour you make up another hour during the day but for that one hour for those two hours we have a lot of power for the hour we have power for the hour we have the power right for the hour we have the power daily monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday daily for the hour we have the power smart strike which 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 daily which Slap them down daily, every day. Sorry, walk. Sorry, skateboard. Sorry, surf. Sorry, fly. Not in our car. Sorry. Every day. Until they use these devices, these organs, and start listening. What do you guys want? How can we get you to stop? the stop the smart strike oh you're listening oh great good you're listening you're feeling it right you're feeling it thank you so much Wesley he said we have passengers at LAX for two hours every day media will be on very fast 100% will be a lot of people there stranded and I'm sure the media will be on it I, great 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 idea get the media down to LAX and explain to the media why we refuse to drive in that time slot and they can film and interview all those riders uh, are you trying to catch an uber or lyft yeah but they're, they're not there's no one here oh you know why there's no one here because they're conducting a smart strike smart strike exactly that's why so rider needs to prepare for it maybe they grab a taxi they cannot get a ride share and the food delivery people should also join us food delivery people join a smart truck give me feedback we will not deliver food daily maybe a lunchtime hour maybe an evening hour sacrifice two hours a day you can make those two hours up elsewhere dear food delivery driver we got to do this 
to all rideshare companies, to all food delivery companies, to all grocery companies, Instacart, Ship, whatever. Sorry, we are not driving in these one or two time slots. We are not delivering food in these time slots. You hungry? Walk. Hungry? Go down to the restaurant. Hungry? Sorry, we can't deliver. Need a ride share? Need an Uber? Sorry, we're not driving between seven and eight. You need to go to a restaurant? Sorry, we're not driving between seven and eight p.m. We can determine those hours, so I need your feedback. What do you, what do you think? How do you think a smart strike should look like? Right? How do you think a smart strike would look like? Always traffic. Three o'clock in the afternoon and we're in a traffic jam. Yeah, and they're ending the fuel assistance. Have you heard that? They are ending the pathetic 45 cents and 55 cents, which was a slap in the face, but they're ending that. So don't come out and advertise that you are offering us fuel assistance for a couple of weeks and then it's gone to get a little bit of media exposure to pretend like you're the good guys because you're not gas prices are the highest right now you would think that welcome to LA traffic 100% sucks right you'd think that that give you some proper fuel assistance just monkey driving up my back of my car all the time here you'd think that they right now when the gas prices are over six bucks in um LA, you'd think that they'd give you some fuel assistance no this is when they're cutting it ladies and gentlemen they've decided to end their pathetic fuel assistance zero assistance right hashtag smart strike hashtag smart strike I don't, I don't call that assistance, 45 cents and 55 cents. That to me is not assistance. That's an insult. It's an insult, my friends. I don't let my clients have my own secret stash. I don't let clients have chewing gum, only mints. Me, I'm taking one. As far as safety goes, go out and get yourself a display ride dash cam. Uploads into the cloud, audio and visual. We demand better safety. We demand proper fuel assistance. We demand at least 70% cut. Or at least 65 to 70% cut. Let them have 30 to making this up but both uber and lyft in the last few weeks have raised rider rates their rates exponentially through the roof supersonic rates they're paying but they're not passing that on to the driver they're not passing it on to you and i right they're charging more but they're not willing to pass on any of those additional fees that they are charging they're not passing it on to the driver. So we need a smart strike. A 
and my definition or my idea of a smart striker is daily, Monday to Sunday, ongoing, week after week. And whether we do one time slot or two time slots, I will let the drivers and the food delivery drivers decide. But can you imagine, sorry, not doing food deliveries between 12 and 1. Sorry, not doing any food deliveries between 7 and 8. Daily. Daily. Not just once off, daily. And those one or two hours that you are losing, you can make up elsewhere. You know, you can deliver late or why not deliver early? It's not like we are asking anyone to take a loss or sacrifice any money. No, we are asking you to sacrifice one to two hours a day that you make up elsewhere. Right, rearranging the day in the most smartest way where we say, sorry, during that hour, those two hours, no trips. Sorry, between that hour, those two hours, no food, period. Your feedback is welcome. Send it on over. Gotta admit, I'm feeling it. I've been up since 5 a.m. and been going non stop. Um, I, good question. I just left the 405 freeway and I'm about to get on the 101 north towards Ventura, that area. See, lift employee benefits. What happens to the lift? employee benefits 101 baby you know it sucks look at this traffic yeah horrible $21. Thank you, Don, for the update. Lift, $16. The ship continues to sink. The ship has hit. And now it's Captain Dara, the drunk sailors, drunk captain, to leave the ship. Leave the ship. Get on your little dinghies, get on your little life saving boats, and leave before you drown. And I would not be surprised if DoorDash, one of the other companies, made a move because the stock on Lyft, because the stock price is so low. Somebody might come in, swoop in, and buy them out. The most logical buyer you think would be DoorDash. Because right now, Lyft doesn't have the money to buy out DoorDash, but DoorDash has the money to buy out Lyft. I mean, 16 bucks left. You see, and this is the leadership of Logan Green and John Zip. Just two trash executives who are exploiting drivers, squeezing drivers, raping riders, passengers. And that's what happens. The whole freaking ship starts sinking. There's like a thousand little holes in their ship and it's slowly 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 taking on weight it's slowly submerging it's slowly turning into a submarine and at some point it's like blah, 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 gone so you better start plugging those holes you better get a new captain you better fire all those drunk sailors right because whatever you're doing over there lift ain't working my friend ain't working it ain't working. No, 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 no. It ain't working. Uber stopped the boost. Yeah, there's a lot of things there. Iceberg ahead. Boom! Smash that iceberg. Like going like this. They're steering the ship like this. 
uh, where are we? Uh, where's the iceberg? Uh, 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 boom! Stupido. No boost, no driving. And cherry pick. People are cherry picking. Why should you take every crappy ride? Why should you deliver food for $1.50? No tips. It's trash. Cherry pick. You want to do food deliveries that have decent tips? Cherry pick all day long. Cherry pick your rides. You've got to take care of yourself. They're not taking care of you. So you're forced to take care of yourself. So what's wrong with cherry picking nothing right don't complain that food delivery drivers are cherry picking when you are tip baiting them when you are exploiting them don't be surprised food delivery driver cannot survive on a dollar fifty delivery cannot just doesn't and working backwards working into the negative not making money And then they get rid of the, all of these companies are getting rid of the fuel assistance when the gas prices are, are peaking. Highest right now. $6.20 I paid, $6.20. My heart goes out to all those little kids in Texas. 14 kids got shot dead one school teacher got shot dead to their parents this happened in texas some 18 year old kid killed 14 children and a teacher and his grandmother when is this going to end my friends when is this insanity going to end But yeah, let's let's discuss this smart strike. Let's pin down daily times. It's definitely a seven-day effort. I'm not gonna lose money because you just adjust and get that hour or two hours elsewhere during the day. But the goal is to leave these passengers stranded for an hour or two hours a day, and the goal is to keep hungry people that want their food in specific hours keep them hungry sorry we're not delivering food not happening ain't happening man 6 a.m to 9 a.m that's a good time slot that's three hours if you then you'd have to do it once every day 6 a.m to 9 a.m it's actually very very smart time slip no driving what do you guys think of it daily 6 a.m to 9 a.m no trips no airport trips no hotel pickups no nothing it's a great suggestion i appreciate the suggestion something to really put out there and think about 6 a.m to 9 a.m someone said every day look if you're sacrificing those three hours a day right you and i everyone else worldwide every city Every day, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., for example, every day, every morning, seven days a week. You can make up those three hours elsewhere. Maybe you do an afternoon shift. Maybe you do an evening shift, right? I don't want you to lose those three hours, but I, what I want you to do is leave those passengers stranded because the complaints, the way they did it in India, I couple will over the top no they were hardcore they all
kicked off their air conditioning and told the passengers they can go and F off, right? Because we are paying for the gas, Uber is not paying for the gas, Ola is not paying for the gas, Bolt is not paying for the gas, Lyft is not paying for the gas. So F off, we're going to switch off your air conditioning. Well, guess what? It worked in India. So what stop, stop, stops us from stopping deliveries, food deliveries, maybe lunchtime, 12 till 2 o'clock, or maybe at night, no dinner deliveries, or maybe like somebody suggested, no ride share trips, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. every day. Watch, watch what will happen. The passengers will start banging down the company's doors. Hey, what's going on? I, I, I can't get a car at this time. What's going on? There's no one on the road. What's happening? That's going to be a lot of pressure. Look at the other side, my friends. Crazy. 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. That's that time slot is a little bit too long. has to be during rush hour very good point that's why I said 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. I think is rush hour and maybe rush hour at the end of the day when people need trips when they need to get to work when they need to get back from work get to their house I know it's a horrible thing for the passenger for the rider but we're doing this to restore to restore the company because right now people are leaving well they don't usually stick together all of them if you take off a whole day because people turn around and say I'm losing money but if, I think if you would give the drivers the option to all agree on one specific time slot or time slots, they can make up the hours elsewhere during the day. The taxis should also participate. I'm definitely going to go and comb through all of your suggestions, read all your suggestions after I finish driving. Obviously, I can't uh, read out every message right now because my eyes are on this road here, as you can see. I'm in this lane, in the second lane, and I'm not really watching the screen and the messages, but I'm going to go through all the messages and respond to many. Anybody that can give me some really good feedback, it's valuable, it's extremely valuable. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Hit it hard. 78 likes, or 93 people in the house. 97, 97 right now here in uh, Woodland Hills, California. Woodland Hills, California, 97. What do you have? Hey, you can't drive your car on fumes. And they're not willing to assist you and give you more fumes for your car. They're not. They want to cut the gas assistance completely. Like, why did you even bring it up in the first place? Oh, to... to make yourself the big heroes or to make riders sympathize oh wow they're actually paying the drivers fuel assistance dear rider dear passenger if you know if you only knew how much that pathetic fuel assistance is helping people it's not 45 cents is a slap in the face 55 cents is a slap in the face
Thank you. Thank you everyone for your support. I appreciate you all. We're on 84, 75 in Montebello. It's absolutely pathetic. You're right. 81 in Florida. La Habra, 73. My, ma my mail is, my email is under, under my videos. You will see my email. Torsten Kunet, 68. The guy's been deactivated. Email me. Eighty-two in Louisiana. Whoop, whoop. Megan, what's the humidity like? Is the humidity high? Humidity is through the roof, right? How are you coping? I mean, your clothes must be dripping wet, man. Or do people walk around in their bikinis and their shorts all day? What happens over there when it gets that hot and it gets so humid? Philadelphia, it's raining, rainy. Thank you for the update. Well, I'm gonna get home and get 30, 40 minute rest. Woo, feeling it, man, feeling it. Feeling it. Have a good day, my friend. Have a good day, senor. Muchas gracias. Woo! Tired. Tired, tired, tired. Any coffee left? No coffee. No coffee. Empty. All right, so leave your, it's a good proposal. We have 90 people in the house, 86. Let's get it up to 90. You need cuatro, por favor. Four, please. Un, deux, trois, un, deux, trois, quatre, s'il vous plaît. Four, please. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, bitte. I need four. Smash it hard, man. Smash it hard. 88. 88, baby. Ninety. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cruising here, ninety. Thank you. Tired. In Calabasas right now.
Thank you for throwing Stefan, thank you so much. Very kind of you. Coffee on me. I love it. I'm going to go and have a coffee on you right now. Sports Bests to help you from my losses. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very kindly. So we're going to keep on fighting. We're going to get these. I'm going to start gearing up. My writers get them to write up articles like I always do press releases I'll pay for the press releases I'll push them out and we'll educate what we are starting we're starting a movement we're starting a daily strike we're starting a, a smart strike why we'll educate them why are we doing this we're not doing this for fun we are doing this because the companies are not willing to use their organs they're not willing to listen Right, we will make them listen. We will force them to listen. Daily. Whoosh, whoosh, daily. Slap them on a Monday. Whoosh, slap them on a Tuesday. Whoosh, slap them on a Wednesday. Whoosh, slap them on a Thursday. Whoosh, slap them on a Friday. Hard. Whoosh, slap them on a Saturday. Whoosh, Slap them again on a Sunday. And then we'd hit the repeat button. Repeat. Need that whip, man. Bend over, Dara. Bend over, Logan. We're going to whip you daily. We're going to whip your ass. Pull down your trunks, your hairy ass. I will whip you on your hairy ass daily. I bet you that guy's got one hairy asshole. I will, I will literally, I will not hesitate. I'll whip it. Dara, bend over, pull down your Gucci pants that you spent a thousand dollars on. Put that hairy ass on the desk and I am going to F and whip it so damn hard. Oh, you're going to be crying like a little, I don't even want to say the name. You're going to be crying and crying. Oh, it's okay. I'll, 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 I'll do something about safety. I'll do something about gas assistance. I'll do something about the pay. But please stop whipping my hairy ass. Please stop whipping my hairy ass. No. Whoosh. 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 Until he listens. A thousand cuts. Until his ass starts bleeding. We're going to whip him. Cha, 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 cha. We're coming after you guys with the smart strike. We're going to strike you smart. We're going to strike you smart. We're going to strike you smart again daily. On your hairy asshole. It's going to hurt. I'm not just going to swing from here. I'm going to go all the way back, all the way back. And I'm going to release that whip. Cut, cut, cut. And you're going to see like red stripes that start bleeding on his hairy asshole. And then I'm going to say, Dara, are you ready to pay the drivers or do you want one more? Do you want one more? No! Okay increase pay. Dara, do you want one more? Are you going to do something about safety? I'll do something about safety. Now? Yes. Now. Okay. Good. Dara, are you going to assist at the gas pump? Or do I need to whip you again? Did you hear me, Dara? Are you going to do something about gas? Yes, I will. Yes. Yes, yes, I will. Yes, yes, yes. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Just stop whipping me. Please stop whipping me. Okay. Let's sit down. Let's get it in writing. Let's get it in writing. Formalize it. Get Tony West. Put it in writing. Otherwise, I'm going to have to whip you again, Dara. No! Put it in writing. I want it in writing. Safety, gas assistance, pay. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna have to whip you again, Dara. That's the only language they understand. That's the only language he's gonna to correspond to. He's gonna answer, he's gonna answer the drivers, he's gonna answer the food delivery people. Otherwise, we are gonna smart strike, whack him daily. We're gonna whip him daily. Hour or two daily. It's time to listen, Dara. Clean out your ears. Clean out them so you can start listening. Listen to our demands. Very basic demands. Very easy to implement. Great results long term for everyone, for the public, for the driver, for the food delivery drivers, for your investors, for Wall Street. You just have to listen. Otherwise, we have to whip you. And I know Dara hates the whip because his wife whips him every night. I guarantee you. Dara's wife spanks him every night. But that's a soft spanking. Wait till I get the whip, Dara. I'm not going to be soft on you. It's going to it's going to hurt. It's going to cut. So I need feedback. Time slots. When do we strike daily? For how long? For an hour, for 2 hours, for 3 hours? We don't want to take away pay from drivers. We want, to, we, want, we want to offer drivers and food delivery drivers the opportunity to make up those one or two hours that they are sacrificing daily. Not asking for a full day strike anymore. We are asking for ongoing cuts, ongoing strikes, short strikes daily, effective peak hour, rush hour. Thirty days, forty days, ongoing, until they listen. Thank you for keeping me awake. In the next twenty, thirty minutes. I'm lights out, guys. And it's not over. Take a nap and get back out there. Because that's how we roll. That's how we hustle. Hundred and four likes. Thank you so much. Flo Kunle's in the house. Max down at 20. Thank you, my friend. We need to figure out how many shares of stock they have. Aha, uh -huh, I see where you're going. Then every driver bought one share, we'd own the company. I love you, buddy. Smart. That's what I call using the noggin, using the smarts. Flo is already thinking way ahead. Flo is already mobilizing the army of drivers to buy some shares, so we take the company. Yeah, the drivers own the company. I like your thinking. Nice, 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 nice. Get every, get every driver to buy a few shares. Hmm, now we're talking. Hmm. Great idea, Flo. Great idea. Maybe you should have like a flow have like a crowd funding where everybody chips in like two dollars and we buy the shares. And those shares are held by that crowdfunding company. How, how about that? 
everybody chips into a pool, we buy the shares, and then that company holds the shares, and we have the power. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Da, da, da. Now we're talking. Thank you, Mr. Flo Kunle. So Kevin, the entrepreneur, friend of mine, uh, he made a video. Some people were asking, where is Geo? What is Geo doing? Kevin thinks that Geo is doing a job where he's plowing snow. Listen, Geo is not stupid. I say, follow the money, Geo. If Geo is making 10 grand a month, as Kevin the entrepreneur says, on shoveling snow, he's not stupid, he's following the money, right? Healthy, a lot of physical activity, out there in the snow, 10 grand a month, follow the money. If Geo did that, take my hat off. I don't judge people if you shoveling snow or shoveling sand or whatever. You figure out a way how to make way more money and maybe stay safer than you did before. Then you're doing something right. You're not going backward, you're going forward. It cannot be easy shoveling snow. It cannot be easy. Why are these guys stopping in the middle of the intersection. Mamma mia. 60 people in the house. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. Please give it some thought. Smart strike, hashtag smart strike. Circulate the video. Let's start the ball rolling slowly. Let's start the momentum. Let's start gathering ideas and then we're going to put it in full motion. And we put it in full motion when we make official announcements, times, daily, and we get the media involved, we'll make it all official. Right now, we have set the ball in motion. This is not difficult to do. It's a daily commitment remembering, aha, I do not drive at that time slot on that particular day, period, every day. Every day, until they listen. Lift stock, $16. What are these people doing? 16 bucks. Three days, no, three days are not good enough. Three days is not gonna make an impact. You do it every day for an hour or two. You can always make up that hour or two elsewhere during the day, you're not losing money. You're just, you're just pissing off passengers that will start complaining. The media will say, Oh, these people are being left stranded here. Oh, the people over here at the airport are not getting rides at this time. This is a very targeted strike daily. A specific time slot daily. We can do it.
sorry, I apologize, I misunderstood you. You said cut the app off for three days. But if you cut the app off for three days, the problem is you might be able to do it, I might be able to do it, but there's a lot of people that if I shut the app off three days, I've lost $600 or $900, right? They're not willing to do that. They're not getting those hours back. But if we cut off a little hour or two every day, which you can work at the end of the day or the beginning of the day or the middle of the day, you can make back those hours. It's just you, we, we exercise power daily at a specific time. So think about it. Think about it. Think about how something like what what would have the maximum impact if we did this daily. Give it some thought. Maybe come back tomorrow and say, hey, I thought about it. Why don't we do it this way? I am so ready for your suggestions, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I got to get the things out of my car, unpack, get a couple of hours of sleep, and then get back on the road. I appreciate you all. Happy Tuesday. Thank you, everyone. With 97 people in house, smash that like button. We're on 114. And give it some thought as, what does a smart strike look to you? If you were to orchestrate and plan this on a daily basis, what would the hours be? Let's do it for 30 days, 40 days, 60 days until they, you know, let's shut, let's shut down Philadelphia. Let's shut down, let's shut down Philadelphia for an hour or two daily. Let's shut down San Antonio for an hour or two daily. Shut them down city by city, city by city, city by city. Watch those passengers. Watch the complaints start coming in. We need, we need to not only follow up with the idea, we need to implement the idea. Come full circle, right? You know, is that you create the idea, you do it and you complete it. We got to go full circle on this. So that's one thing I'm good at. I don't just left stuff hanging. We follow through with the media. We, we, we start planning and pinning this down in the next week. So then we have an action plan. How do we execute the action plan? Well, one good way is to select venues and get the media involved because then it really starts building momentum and snowballing, right? I salute you. I thank you. I appreciate your feedback. Nothing but gratitude for all your great ideas and comments and feedback. Without you, this channel would be nothing. I know that. So let me just tell you how much I appreciate your feedback. It's because of a collective input, collective ideas, we make these things happen. And we're gonna slap them. And we're gonna slap Dara's hairy butt daily until he listens. Got it? Thank you, guys. Guys and girls, have a good one. I am going to go and snooze for one hour. I'll see you soon. I appreciate you all. Good night. Or not good night. Goodbye. Till later. Bye-bye.